that I've ever been to. Like everyone was just packed in that room, hundreds of people. You didn't, you guys, you guys didn't even have seats. And um, the response was brilliant. Like everyone was just really getting into the talk, weren't they? And the teacher said, like it was the most attentive they've been all year afterwards. So have you guys got any questions about the jail I was in? Yeah. Go on. Why were there two separate groups, black and white? All right, when you go in the jail I was at, it was white, blacks, Mexicans and Mexican Americans. Had you had a shop shop? And they all have their own gang. If you're white, the Aryan Brotherhood prison gang comes up to you. And um, they ask you what your charges are. And if your charges, they don't like your charges, it's K-O-S, which means kill on sight such as paedophile stuff. Other charges are SOS, which means smash on site. Whatever race you are in the jail, you have to sit with that race. It's all divided racially by the prisoners themselves. Yeah. So if you didn't like the people you had to be with, if you went to a different group, you'd get beaten up? If you go and sit with a different race, if you're white, for example, and you go and sit with the Mexicans, then the Aryan Brotherhood will beat you up for doing that. Yeah. Um, how many meals did you get? We got two meals a day. Breakfast was mouldy bread and green bologna. And it came in a plastic bag. And green bologna is a raw sausage meat. It's gone past its sell-by date. It's got a green shine to it. The evening meal was a mystery meat slop that the prisoners called Red Death. It looked like carroty vomit blended with blood. and all kinds of random pieces of meat in it. It stunk. Sometimes there was dead rats in it. On one occasion we gave a dead rat back to the guards who complained and so that the jail wouldn't get any trouble and said it was just a potato. There's nothing we could do about it. Let's stop it there now.